Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back again with another video. Now, just before we get into it, I do just want to say thank you to everyone for the support on the channel through the likes, the comments on the videos, the subs to the channel. It has been absolutely nuts and I just want you to know that I appreciate every single one of you. We did have the original sub goal of 100 subs, which we did pass a couple days before the focus video, which I did record in advance. But today we are going to set another one. We're on our way to 300 subs now. So as always, if you go on to enjoy this video or enjoy other content on my channel, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, comment on the video, all of that good stuff. And let's get into it. Okay, so as you know, a couple days ago, the new Warframe update dropped. Citrine's Last Wish. Citrine, Citrine, however you want to say it. And within this update, we obviously got the unique 50 second Warframe being Citrine. And we also got a newish game mode in Mirror Defense. So that is what we're going to be going through today. How to complete that mission in a long, actually in an endurance run by yourself. And this can be done in the Steel Path version, which I will be demonstrating in this video. So, of course, before we get into it, the best way to do this mission, if you're trying to get the different parts for Citrine, is going to, of course, be doing it in a squad, which may include perhaps a Wisp for the defense target, a Nova to slow down the enemies, a couple Titanias even to sort of fly around the map and grab the Citrine fragments, and those sort of things but so without further ado let's get into it okay so as always with any video i do we're going to be talking about the focus call first now for this specific mission type we're going to be using zeneric because although there are going to be high level enemies in there you know different grenier with high armor our weapons are going to be able to kill them so because we're going to be casting a hell of a lot of abilities in this mission, we're gonna need a lot of energy, which is why we're using Cinderic for this. Our Wellspring and Hardspring, it's just gonna be there to give us that passive energy so that we can keep casting our ability and actually be able to do an endurance run in this mission. Now, if you are not so confident in your weapons to kill the different enemies, then you can use Uniru for the armor strip and also the shield strip because there will be both corpus and grenier in this mission however i would advise that you do have arcade energize or some sort of method to get energy back because as i said we will be casting a lot of abilities in this mission especially if you're trying to do an endurance run so this is all you need now we're going to get into the build Okay, so for this mission, we will be using Valben Prime. Now, the nice thing about Valben Prime is as of right now, in the Prime Resurgence rotation, there is a Valban and Atlas Prime. So it's going to allow players of all skill levels and players at different points within the game to be able to do missions, do bounties, get your Aya, go to Vazir, get his relics, crack them open and build him. Because prior to Prime Resurgence, he was quite rare, and I believe his set was something around 180 to 200 Platinum. So the fact that he's out now is quite a nice thing, because it's going to allow every sort of player out there to be able to try and get it. Almost, if not all. So, the build itself, we have Energy Siphon here, because we are going to be casting quite a lot. So it's going to be nice to have some sort of passive energy gain. Then we have Prime Continuity as our duration mod. Now, as I've said previously in a bunch of different videos, if you don't have the prime variant, it's fine, just put the normal one on. Then we have prime flow here for energy capacitance because we are gonna be casting a lot, so it's gonna be nice to grab all of the enemy, uh, the energy that all the enemies drop and be able to store that up so that we can keep casting. Then we have overextended reach and stretch for as much ability range as we can get. And then we have Streamline for a bit of efficiency here, just to manage sort of energy uh, cost. And then we have Vitality here for health, because without this, 
this guy has 300, 300, and he's hella squishy, and you will die hella quick. So, finally, we have Prime Sure Footed here for 100% chance to resist knockdown. Now, if you don't have the Prime variant, you will have some sort of knockdown because I think the chance is around 60 or 80%, not quite sure on that, but you will get knocked down once or twice. So, this is just going to help so that you don't get knocked down and then take 2-3 seconds to get back up, which, uh, which at that point you're just a sitting duck and you're literally just going to get beamed and killed. So, for Arcanes we have Arcane Energize here, this is just going to maximize the amount of energy that we get per energy orb so that again we can keep casting and then we have arcane guardian over here which is going to be our survivability arcane we have a chance to get a bunch of armor for 20 seconds and that's just going to reduce the amount of damage we take on our health so that is the general build so it will be explained more in the gameplay but essentially we're going to be using bastille more so the vortex version to suck all of the enemies into one space incapacitate them stop them shooting at the target and then we can also combine that with mind layer specifically the tether coil to sort of grab the enemies that are further out which the vortex cannot actually suck in so that's the sort of premise of what's going to happen in this mission now we're going to get into the gameplay okay so we are now in the mission now essentially this is a combination of a defense and mobile defense so there's going to be two crystals each of which are going to be attacked by Grenier and also attacked by the corpus so all you need to do is protect it that's it now you can kill these to get energy to keep casting and then whilst you have your fourth ability up the vertex what you can then do is go around and collect the different citron remnants fragments and that's essentially all you need to do now killing the enemies is just for energy right it's not a necessary part of this mission because the part is essentially a mobile defense right uh one minute 50 right now that's all you need to do to defend and then all you want to do is keep casting your wellspring uh to grab energy and things and keep the target alive and make sure you are killing uh, some of the enemies at least just to keep on top of your energy consumption okay now you just continue grabbing your remnants and then coming back keep casting your abilities and keep killing to just maintain that energy back and then go back and keep grabbing your remnants And that's essentially all that all there is to this, right? And then uh, keep on top by killing the Eximus as well. And then you can also use your Zeneric to increase your Increase your energy. And then once you've reached the 50 fragments, that is when you of course get your different, um, or your other fragments should I say, that are then going to be used to buy Citrine's blueprints from Otak on Deimos. And then while you're switching, you can grab the other remnants. And now we're going to move on to the other defense mission, or the other crystal should I say, where we're going to find our corpus that are going to attack now. Also, because this is a steel path mission that we're doing here we will be coming up against acolytes now these acolytes will usually spawn in that room up there 
that is where the main spawn point is for the Acolytes in this specific room. And then all you want to do is keep just killing everything to keep on top of your energy. And combine that with the use of your Xenuric. And then just keep going along, grabbing the fragments that you need to. So as you see, the Acolyte is about to spawn. And he will spawn over here. So we just do our thing and kill him. Like so. And then we refresh. And of course, you keep on top of your fragments. And that is really all there is to this mission. And then of course, deal with your Eximus units as well. And now, that is one sort of round done. So each round is sort of one defense for each crystal. So you defend against the Grenier, you, then you defend against the Corpus, and that is one round. And then, as I said, you can go back and forth and uh, grab the crystals in this sort of region over here. Now, these enemies that were previously here will not despawn. So just make sure you're keeping an eye on them so you're not actually dying from them. And of course, kill the Eximus units as well. Now, I mean, you don't really need to kill the Eximus units. Just get rid of their sort of blue bar so they are actually affected by your abilities and actually get sucked in to your Vortex. And then sort of refresh your Vortexes. And then you can go back and look for your different fragments. You don't really need your second ability to be honest because as long as you place your vortex in the right place then you shouldn't really have to use the second ability to get enemies that are not actually in the vortex's reach because they should all be in their reach as long as you place them in the right locations. Oh my god. And then, of course, just keep going around and looking for your fragments. Now, I would say go a little earlier than when the countdown starts, just because it will give you that time to actually get all the different fragments. Don't take too much time, obviously, because you don't want it to actually get destroyed. And then you come back and... Put your vortexes down and go back to collecting your fragments. And then, of course, kill enemies to keep on top of your energy consumption. And that's really it. You just keep doing this, and you're all good. 
Now, of course, keep an eye out for your different um, nullifiers because if the nullifier bubble gets too big, then they can also shield other enemies from your vortex and then it just becomes a mission where they're not really affected by your abilities anymore. And you're just doing a regular defense mission without any help. And then, of course, he's about to spawn, so we're going to put our abilities down and go to where he is going to spawn. Which is going to be right here. And then, uh, you just kill him. Like that. And then go back to whatever you were doing. Now, of course, if you do this on Steel Path mode, then, of course, as well as grinding for Citrin, you're going to be getting a bunch of Steel Essence, right? So, these sort of Belric and the other fragments, they are going to be guaranteed drops as rewards for completing the rounds. So, defending both crystals successfully. And then, of course... And then, of course, you can also get the fragments from completing or just grabbing the Citron fragments and getting them that way. And that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, comment, all that good stuff. If you have any other video ideas that you want me to do for you guys, then drop those down in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace. So catch me if I fall